Uh, lab one is making me paranoid already. I mean, I just created some traffic from my Windows 10 machine and sniffed that traffic with the Linux machine. It's time to level up in cybersecurity. Tomorrow I will be taking the SANS SEC 401 course, Security Essentials, Network, Endpoint, and Cloud. And it's going to be in the live online format, which means I will be doing it simultaneously with a group of students and an instructor, which I'm very excited about and a little intimidated because I haven't taken a course in that format for a very long time. So I've cleared out my schedule and we're diving in tomorrow. I will take you through my experience of the format and also of the course materials as we get to it. But right now, let me tell you a bit more about the course and also about my preparation. You see, I have an early start tomorrow, so I decided to film this today so um, that I'm not forgetting anything tomorrow. So this course is the perfect next step from the Sans Foundations course that I have done already. If you haven't seen my vlogs, I will leave a link over here and also in the description. There are vlogs, a summary, and I even took you through my experience of taking the actual exam, getting GX certified. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm excited about that too. This course looks like the logical next step with you know, building upon that knowledge that I already have upon that foundation. I honestly think that there's no better name for that course that I've already done. And this is the next step giving me or giving whoever is taking this course essential skills and information on how to protect and secure essential technology and information, critical stuff. I'm very excited because this is going to be very hands-on and I've already received the materials. <laughs> This is going to be a lot of material covered in the next six days and there's a workbook. I, have, I haven't really looked through it too much yet. And then all of these different books are corresponding to the different modules on the syllabus. The first one being network, security and cloud essentials, then defense in depth, vulnerability management and response, data security technologies, Windows and Azure security. There's a whole book dedicated to that. And of course, then Linux, AWS and Mac security. So yeah, I have a lot of material to cover in the next six days, which I'm very excited about. I will keep you updated on how this goes. In the meantime, I'm also preparing my device. Um, I had to download Slack. I did not have the Slack desktop app, guilty. I did download it for this specific case because I will be on Slack with my fellow students and potentially the instructor too, from what I understand. I will tell you all about the format uh, once I'm, I'm more familiar with it. But for now, I received this really handy email preparing me for the course uh, with five simple steps. I've already done the Slack one. So I feel like I'm ready for tomorrow. I'm very excited and I will see you then. <laughs> Good morning. It is Monday morning and the class is about to begin. I'm speaking quietly because my husband is still asleep, but I've already downloaded Slack and I downloaded GoToMeeting, which is the application that we're using for lectures. So yeah, it's about to start. I'll update you once it does. Classes started and it's time for lab one. So we were given half an hour to do lab one, which is setting up our virtual machine. I downloaded the software yesterday, so now I just have to set it up. Let's do this. So far so good, we're on our first break. We're going to be taking breaks every one hour or so, and they're going to be lasting from five to seven minutes, which I think is very healthy because there's a lot of information coming in. And between 12.15 and 1.15, we're gonna have a lunch break. I'm probably gonna go for a little run outside just to change environment, get some movement in, and then also have some lunch because one hour is plenty for me to do that. Now that I've experienced the format, I can tell you more about it. So. The lectures are carried out through the GoToMeeting software where we can see the lecturer and also the slides and we can see who is in the chat. Right now there are th over 30 students, 32 students I think in, the, in this class. And then there's Slack for 
any communication, any polls, any interactions with students, and also teaching assistants, which I already had an issue with my with setting up my uh, virtual machine. Some network connectivity issues, which actually was me not typing the <laughs> the con command right. So um, I need more coffee, clearly, but. It was very nice and the teaching assistant was super helpful, helped me immediately, so I'm all on track. And it's very nice, I can switch back between Slack and the lectures. And these notes have been incredibly helpful because I've just been honestly jotting down some of my notes, some of my thoughts, highlighting things. So these materials are super helpful. I also have them in the vid digital version here on my laptop, but I, I really like writing down notes, scribbling things down, so that's nice. And finally, the other thing that I've learned about um, the course so far is that the lectures are recorded. So if you are taking the certification and you want to refer back to the lectures, or if you have to miss some of the lectures that ha are happening live, you can always go back to that those materials because they are recorded. The course is back. I'll get back to you soon. I'll tell you all about what we're uh, learning today. We're on break two and so far we have done module one which was defensible network architecture and right now we are on to the module all about protocols and packet analysis module well it's actually module three at this point and yeah we just learned all about the iso osi mo model and all of the different layers of it and how um, data travels through it which i have learned through the foundations course so i'm not completely lost and it's all making sense and it's all clicking because i have the right, right foundations <laughs> all right resuming in 15 seconds so i'll see you during my lunch break It's lunch break, so I am in my workout stuff. I'm gonna go for a run outside right now. It's pretty sunny, so it's gonna be nice. I'm gonna get some sunshine on myself and return back to continue the protocols subject. We are deep in protocols and I'm so grateful that I understand what's going on because I have a solid foundation and definitely building on top of that foundation as as we speak. The lunch break is also an opportunity for anyone who didn't manage to finish up the lab in the morning to catch up because we are going to start with a lab and we're going to be using our virtual machines. From what I understand, the Windows is going to be communicating with the Linux, so I'm excited. Luckily, I've been able to finish it all in the morning, so I don't have to worry about that, but anyone who hasn't done it so far, the lunch break and the teaching assistance will be available for that catching up. All right, off to my run. Just got back from my run, ran three and a half miles, feeling good, feeling energized, ready to dive in into more protocols. And I, th I think I will eat lunch a bit later. I am, the course is on Eastern time zone and I'm two hours behind. So it's still 11 a.m. <laughs> my time. So yeah, I still have time to eat lunch. I can prepare it in one of the breaks. And now back to the class. And just like that, we're onto our first lab, which is going to be happening in my virtual machi machines, which are all set up. Basically, I downloaded the files that already have been set up with all the configurations that I needed to have there. And this lab is all about the TCP dump. We just learned about the um, TCP protocol and UDP protocols, which I luckily knew already about. So it was, you know, deepening the knowledge. Right now we're going to be testing out sniffing the traffic, the network traffic from what I understand with the virtual machine. Let's do this. So the lab is done and I finished it right on time. The instructions were super clear and I got all the results that I expected, which I'm very proud of. I gotta say the fact that I already have done foundations and I'm familiar with what I'm doing definitely helps me because I 
didn't feel as lost. During the lab, the instructor put out a poll trying to gather where people are in terms of their work and there are some people who needed help so he added five more minutes and uh, yeah I'm just recording this video because I have time. Fast forward to 5 p.m. my time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Yesterday was a long day this course is structured as a boot camp. It's very intensive because in six days you learn all of this material. And today we almost finished book number one. We're 20 pages short of finishing it. So I know we're going to catch up tomorrow morning. And instructor said that he doesn't want to compromise our education, the quality of our, the information that we get, um, you know, with trying to rush through it and trying to finish all of the books. So, I mean, this is not much. And I finished off by finishing lab number four, which we can do tonight or tomorrow morning. But, you know, I'd rather start my day at 7 a.m. as opposed to 6.30 a.m. So I finished it already. So to sum up today's experience and this day, I wanted to share some thoughts from today's just so that you have a clearer picture of what I've experienced. First of all, the format. I'm doing the live online format, which basically means that I am remote. I'm in my own office and the instructor is remote and all of the other students are remote, but we are live, <laughs> live online. Yes, describes pretty well. The lectures are presented through a special software and the instructor is going through all of the different slides. We have the supporting materials to go through that in physical form and in digital form as well. And whenever needed, the instructor has another camera where he can draw all of the different concepts out. For example, the different layers of the communication model, um, ISO, OSI. Yes, <laughs> I revert to those. We also have a dedicated Slack channel where the instructor and the teaching assistants are interacting with us and all the students are interacting. We can comment, we can ask questions, we can interact with each other. And also there are polls, especially during labs, where the instructor can gauge where the, all the students are regarding the materials. And finally, the labs are done based on the workbook book <laughs> and the, the instructions are very detailed but if there are any issues or questions with the materials the instructor and the teaching assistants are there to help during the times for the lab and also during other times as well for example during the lunch break from what i understand so so far so good it's been pretty easy for me to be honest because I have a very solid foundation for all of those materials because of the foundations course, foundations in cybersecurity course that I have done. If you haven't watched those videos yet and if you want to check them out, um, I will leave a link over here and also in the description. The difference between that course that I took and this one is the format. Surprisingly, I'm really enjoying the live online format because it gives me a very nice timetable. It gives me a structure and a discipline disciplines me for to study with everyone else, which is very nice. I feel like that's something that I do lack in the on-demand format. And if you are one of those people like me, you might really enjoy this format. And it's also really nice to have other students there, other people who are asking questions, other people who are adding to the conversation by providing resources, examples, their own thoughts, experiences, etc. And of course, I love the stories that the instructor is sharing with us with some of the examples from his work, from his experience in the field, from some of his pen testing stories. It's, it's really fun and they definitely make me laugh and his sense of humor is very nice and comforting. It's just nice to have a live, live person. <laughs> Uh, not that on-demand courses aren't like that, but it's just, you know, that there's that piece of interactivity that some people may miss in a different type of format. And of course, it's very nice to know that if I do have any issues with some of this material, which is, you know, pretty complex, I have TAs, teaching assistants, to ask for any issues that I may have. Oh, and final note, I really enjoyed the fact that I went for a run 
during the day. As you can see, I have showered. Uh, I finished lab number three early and we had a break after it, so I used the opportunity to shower. That was a very wise use of my lunch break, going outside and running and getting my blood flowing, changing the environment. It really energized me for the rest of the day, so I'm definitely going to do that, replicate that for the rest of the week. Even if it's just a short run for just one mile, getting my blood flowing is really gonna help. Let me know if you have any questions regarding the SEC 401 course. I will continue documenting this process. I will publish the next video in two more days. So after day three, so that you can see, you know, more of my experience because my days are probably going to be pretty repetitive. So yeah, I'll just let you know all of the thoughts and experiences that I come across throughout this journey. Thank you, Science Institute, for sponsoring this video and for giving me this amazing opportunity to up-level my skills in cybersecurity into, and to dive deeper into the topic. Like this video if you've enjoyed it and share with a friend who is interested in leveling up in cybersecurity. More is to come, so subscribe to this YouTube channel and of course, follow us on social media. You can find us as Stereotype Breakers. And I will leave all of the links for SANS and their free resources and their social media in the description as well. So go ahead and follow them too, because they have, I receive their email newsletters on a regular basis. And let me tell you, I, I really enjoy reading them and really enjoy staying up to date on the situation of, of cybersecurity. All right, it's been a long day. I need to go relax and I'll see you in two days after day number three. Have a wonderful time today you're currently experiencing. Bye.